in classic fill fashion, this note that I'm trying to build from makes no sense. It's fantastic. Check this out. I've got that picture, that picture, right? And then that's the bottom, but it doesn't tell me anything. And the perspective is way off. Uh, there's the drawer that I'm making. There's the front. Uh, the two is the back, so it's the same as the front, but ending at the dado. And then the sides have uh, rabbits front and back and a dado in the middle. Okay. Okay, so I started out by actually making a space for this first drawer to go into, because it seems like a bit of a waste of time to make a drawer and not have a place for that drawer to go, right? So to do that, I literally just put some sides into the standy cabinety thing that I made a couple days ago for my Sherwood oscillating spindle sander. For those of you playing along at home, is this what you ended up with? And rounded bearing edges? Okay, sure. Sweet! Yes! So the dados for the front and back, uh, I got them all measured out and I just started cutting and I forgot to hit record. They look like this. Ooh. They are four millimeters this way and eight millimeters this way. Uh, now the sides are going to be the opposite so that it locks in on itself. This is probably a better way to explain it, I suppose. Uh, this stop is set four millimeters from this side, the business side, of the uh, teeth on the, the blade, right? Which is literally a millimeter past the kerf, it's kind of annoying. But uh, the height above the um, bench, not the bench, the uh, jig, the table, whatever, uh, is eight millimeters for the front and back. Now for the sides, I have to make it the exact opposite. The height has to be four, and this has to be eight mil that way. So, <clears throat> based on what I just said about where I was gonna set the thing, did anybody catch the, the obvious and stupid mistake I just made? This is what test cuts are for. This is four millimeter this way and eight millimeter this way. Exactly what I just set up for. This is a test piece. A doy. Right? <sighs> it's supposed to be sitting flush, so it needs to be 8x8. Eight eight, obviously. Now it is 4 mil here, 8 mil, 8 mil. Right? See, 8 mil square cut out, 4 mil left the 12 mil chunk so when I put it together it now sits flat as it should seems pretty obvious now doesn't it so now I need to add the uh, dado that holds the bottom of the drawer in I'm gonna be doing a lot of drawers in the future and the bottoms will all be identical uh, I didn't go out and buy a dado stack but I did buy a flat top blade from Torcata uh, that has a six millimeter kerf. I'm gonna swap this out and uh, we'll go from there. If you want to set up a dado that is half the width of the piece that you're using and using a blade that is also half the width but you want it half the width away from the edge, if that makes any sense, use the actual piece and register it against the blade. 
All right, so if you're registering off two teeth, you got a straight line, and then against that piece there. One tooth, two tooth, straight line. Yeah, you get it. So that last cut uh, was to ensure that the uh, there's a slot in the back so that we can just slide in the bottom piece. That's all that was. It's just out slightly. But I'm going to attach it coming in from the side anyway so it doesn't matter that much. Um, provided that that in there lines up properly. Right? So you can get your bottom in there. <laughs> get your butt in there. There's another random angle for you. So, <clears throat> now I'm gluing it up. Okay, so I actually used a uh, hammer and some nails. I actually kind of like the look of the nails for shop stuff, you know. Um, now the only thing left to do on this is to make the bottom that will slide in that nifty little slot. That dirty, dirty slot. <laughs> so the original plan for this drawer was gonna have a 12 mil bottom with rabbits around the edge, but in all honesty, just going, just sliding in a six mil panel will be strong enough, plenty strong enough, more than strong enough. So I'm gonna cut it down to size, slide it on in in doing my test fitting and whatnot to get it where it's at it ended up being perfectly flush and i didn't even want to try to get it back out so i could slide it back in for a shot so i didn't it's in there forever so now i'm just gonna secure it with a couple screws along the bottom rather than the nails that i've used before in case i need to slide it out somehow hey i missed a nail being so close to the end, this is probably the point where I would most likely stuff it up. Hey, they didn't come through the inside. Now for the clever bit. Putting it in there. Okay, so the only thing left to do was to add a drawer pull. So this seemed appropriate. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Adjusting the height and the width of the saw cuts before. My oh, beard is looking glorious today.